This is our science section of our packet, and you're going to be doing activities um, to learn about the parts of plants. You're going to see pages in both English and Spanish. You're only required to finish the ones in the English that you can read. We just had a lot of it translated for the students that needed it. So if you need English, finish the English ones. If you need the Spanish, do the Spanish ones. However, I cannot read the Spanish. Reflect. What did you eat today? Did you eat any fruit or vegetables? If so, you ate some plant parts. Fruits and vegetables come from plants. What are other parts of plants? How do these parts help plants live and grow? Plants have roots. Roots are like tiny sponges. They soak up water from the soil. They also take in nutrients. Roots anchor a plant too. That means roots help keep a plant in one place so it does not fall over. Roots grow underground. Sometimes they also grow just above the ground. Look at the plants below and circle the roots. Now, if you look over to the side, you're going to see a picture of a whole bunch of fruits at the top, and the word underneath is nutrients. And nutrients mean substances that help plants grow. This book, picture below it is of a flower, and then you see the part that's circled. The plant roots are circled in red. So you see what it circled here? Can you circle the roots on the two pictures to the left? The big tree has some roots, and this little itty bitty plant that's starting to grow has roots. Can you circle those, please? Plants have stems. Stems are like elevators. They bring things up and down. They move water to the rest of the plant. Remember, all that water is soaked up by the roots. Pictures of a tree. It says tree trunks are hard, woody stems. The next picture is of a yellow daffodil, the flower. This plant has a soft stem that can bend. Stems help move that water around to the rest of the plant. Stems also move food to all parts of a plant. Some stems are woody, others are soft. What do you think? Plants have leaves. Plants can make their own food. Leaves use water, sunlight, and air to make that food. Plants can use the food to grow. Where do we and leaves. Many leaves grow from soft stems, but tree leaves do not. They grow from hard branches. Branches are smaller stems that grow from tree trunks. Look at the picture below. Circle the picture that shows leaves growing from the stem. Draw a square around the picture that shows leaves growing from branches. Look out! Many plants have flowers. Flowers have colorful petals and seeds. Seeds grow into new plants. First picture is of a sunflower. This sunflower has yellow petals. There are small seeds in the center of the flower. The next one is a picture of an apple being, that has been sliced. Some seeds grow inside fruits. The fruits protect the seeds. Everyday life. Can you eat it? We can eat many plant parts. We eat seeds such as peanuts and walnuts. We eat fruits and lettuce leaves. We even eat stems, flowers, and roots. Can you think of a plant part you have eaten today? First picture is of broccoli. It says we eat broccoli flower petals. The next picture is celery. We eat the celery stems. And then the third picture is of carrots. And it says we eat carrots. We are eating roots. an activity you can do at home if you have the materials and it will show you how a stem takes in water. You're going to need a piece of celery stem, a jar, and red food coloring, and water. I want a spoon. First you're going to fill the jar almost full with water. Next you're going to squeeze in 10 drops of the food coloring in the water. Stir the water to mix in the food coloring so that the water is red. Next you're going to place the celery stem into the jar. You're going to let it stay in the jar for at least a one whole day. Then you're going to check the next day, you're going to check the celery and you're going to see are any of the parts red. You do not see the roots, right? But water can still travel up the stem. You can see that the water moves up the plant and the stem and leaves are red. If the, if the activity works right, you should see that some of the red water has been pulled into the plant 
and it's going to pull up and color the stem and some of the leaves red. On this page, we're going to look at the parts of the plant and the jobs that they do, and we're going to need to match them up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the left-hand side, and I'm going to read you the name for each plant part that you see. Then I'm going to go across, and I'm going to read the job descriptions. You're going to need a pencil, and you're going to need to draw a line connecting the plant part to the job that it does. And just know they are not all straight across from each other, so don't just draw straight lines because you're going to get most of them wrong. Okay, the plant part. The first one is a picture of leaves. The second one is of stems, branches, flowers, and the last one is roots. Now the different jobs. Connect stems to leaves. Catch sunlight to make food. Soak up water from soil. Carry water to plant parts. Hold seeds and petals. You need to draw a line from each plant part picture to the job that it does. This page is Lincoln Literacy to our science. So based on what we have read and learned about plants, we're gonna use it to complete the diagram below. You're gonna need scissors and a glue stick if you have them, because you're gonna be cutting out the bottom part of your page, and then you're gonna be gluing them next to the part of the plants that they refer to. So you have, one, you have a purple flower in the middle and you see four boxes. There's a little line coming off of each box that points to a part of the plant. Down below, I'm going to read each box. I'm going to start at the top left, go across, and then go to the bottom row. So the first box says the hmm anchors the plant in soil and soaks up water and nutrients. So you're going to write the part of the plant that anchors the plants in the soil. They soak up water and nutrients. And you can refer back to the previous page where we had the pictures of the plant parts and the jobs that they do. Because the answer is either going to be leaves, stems, branches, flowers, or roots. The next one says the blank. Use water, sunlight, and air to make food. Once again, it's either leaves, stems, branches, flowers, roots. The third box says the blank can have colorful petals and seeds. The seeds grow into a new plant. Is that leaves, stems, branches, flowers, or roots, and blank brings things up and down, moves water and moves food and water to the rest of the plant. Is that the leaves, the stems, branches, flowers, or roots? For this page, you're gonna need crayons, colored pencils, or markers. You're gonna be coloring in the different parts of the plant. So what you're going to do first is color the leaves and the stem of the plant green. You're going to color the flower red. And you're going to color the roots brown. The bottom of the page, you'll see each of those words, stem, roots, flower, leaf. And you're going to color those word boxes the same color that you color them on the plant. So the word that says leaf, you're going to color green. Stem, you're going to color green. The word flower, you're going to color red. And the word roots, you're going to color brown. What do plants need? You're going to find four things that plants need, and you're going to color them. So we know what plants, plants are a living thing. So what are some things that living things need? You're going to color the four pictures. You can use crayons, colored pencils, or markers. Now, the rest of these pages are actually translated into Spanish for you. So if you are a student who needs to read in Spanish or you need your parents or an older sibling to help you and read to you in Spanish, here are all the science papers in Spanish. Every worksheet I just described to you in English is right here in Spanish if you need them for help. I cannot read Spanish, so I'm not even going to try because I don't want to make a mess of the words that I'm reading for you. But you have several pages here, and they're just the ones that are above. You do not have to do them twice. When you are done with all the work, make sure pa parents take a picture of each page individually. Please don't take pictures of two 
or three worksheets because it turns out I can't enlarge them on Dojo, so they're very hard to see. So I need a picture of each worksheet by itself, and then you can send it to me through Dojo or through my uh, school email.